So, this is activity 5.1.1.5 titles Mac and LLC sublayers. So, the instructions are description of Mac and LLC sublayers are provided in the table. Click in the Mac or LLC fields to match the descriptions to the correct sublayer. So, one is Controls the network interface card to software driver. Works with the upper layers to add application information for delivery of data to higher level protocols. Works with hardware to support bandwidth requirements and check errors in the bits and send Send and receive Mac. Controls access to the media through signaling and physical media standards requirements. Supports Ethernet technology by using CSMA or CD or the CSMA CA or the CA. Mac. Remains re relatively independent of physical equipment let's so let's check if it's correct so let's check if it's okay so correct you have successfully match descriptions the correct sub layer This is activity 5.1.1.6 title Identify Ethernet Stream Field Names. So the instruction is drag the 802.3 Ethernet Frame Fields name to its description. So this the description. So first is uses pad to increase this frame field to at least 64 bytes so and um, describes which higher layer protocol has been used like the frames originating NIC or interface MAC address Source and the rest. Assist a host in determining if the frame received is addressed to it. Destination. Notifies destination to get ready for a new frame. Preamble. Synchronizes sending and receiving devices for the frame delivery. Delimiter. Detects errors in an internet Ethernet frame. Frame check sequence. So we have successfully matched the Ethernet frame field names their description. So this is activity 5.2.2.4. Uh, this is the part 2 of the uh, frame forwarding method. So instructions is with the scenario based on the topology shown. Identify how the frames will be processed by dragging your answers to appropriate fields are provided in the table. All answers will not be used. So this is our topology. So, S1 is brand new switch, PC1 is sending data to PC2, S1 is using full duplex, MD, MDEX, and fast forward as a frame switch method. So, cabling use in this topology will be straight up. So, this one says the cabling is all straight through then 
To find where PC2 is located, PC1 will send out a broadcast data frame. So, it will send the broadcast uh, data frame. So, um, among uh, those PC, uh, it will know uh, which is which is which or which is what is uh, it looking for so then PC2 will respond back to PC1 by sending back a message if PC2 receives only half of the data in frame it will be card PC2 receives many damages frames on port 3 as one likely will be back to forwarding forward switching we have successfully matched the network access frame scenario processes to the description. Activity 9.2.2.4 um, titles frame forward to methods. So the instruction is descriptions of switch frame forwarding methods are provided in the table. Click it in the store and forward or cut through fields to match the methods to description. Buffer springs until the full frame has been received by the switch. Store and forward. Text the frame for errors before releasing it out. If it's switch for ports, if the full frame was not received, the switch discards. Discards it. No error checking on frames is performed by the switch before releasing the frame out of its port. A great method to use on serve one bit on your network. Destination network interface card or NIC discards any incomplete frames using this frame forwarding method. The fast the faster switch method but may produce more errors in the data integrity therefore more bandwidth may be consumed so. we have successfully matched the description to the correct frame forwarding technique 